Wendy L. Brown born November 28, 1955, is an American political theorist. She is class of 1936 first professor of political science and a core faculty member in the Program for Critical Theory at the University of California, Berkeley. Topic. Career Wendy Brown received her B.A. in both economics and politics from UC Santa Cruz, and her M.A. and Ph.D. in political philosophy from Princeton University. Before she took a position at UC Berkeley in 1999, Brown taught at Williams College and UC Santa Cruz. At Berkeley, beyond her primary teaching roles in political theory and critical theory, Brown is also an affiliated faculty member of the Department of Rhetoric, the Jurisprudence and Social Policy Program, the Designated Emphasis in Women, Gender and Sexuality, and the Designated Emphasis in Early Modern Studies. Brown lectures around the world and has held numerous visiting and honorary positions, including at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, the Institute for Human Sciences in Vienna, the Goethe University in Frankfurt, the UC Humanities Research Institute in Irvine, the Institute for the Humanities Critical Theory Summer School at Birkbeck, University of London 2012-2015, a senior invited fellow of the Center for Humanities at Cornell University 2013, a visiting professor at Columbia University 2014, a Phi Beta Kappa visiting lecturer 2014, a visiting professor of law and government at Cornell University 2015, the Shimizu visiting professor of law at the London School of Economics 2015, and a visiting professor at the European Graduate School 2016. .Among the honorary lectures Brown has delivered are the Beaverbrook Annual Lecture at McGill University 2015, the Pembroke Center Keynote at Brown University 2015, a keynote at the Zolberg Institute on Migration and Mobility 2016, the fourth, Democracy Lecture following Thomas Piketty, Naomi Klein, and Paul Mason, in the Haus der Kulturen der Welt in Berlin 2017, a plenary speech at the European Sociological Association Conference in Athens 2017, the Wellek Lectures at UC Irvine 2018, and the Gauss Lecture at Princeton University 2018. Brown's work has been translated into more than 20 languages and has received many awards. Brown served as council member of the American Political Science Association 2007-09 and as chair of the UC Humanities Research Institute Board of Governors 2009-11. In 2012, her book Walled States, Waning Sovereignty won the David Eastman Award. Brown received the 2016 Distinguished Teaching Award, UC Berkeley's most prestigious honor for teaching. She received a UC President's Humanities Research Fellowship 2017-18 and was a Guggenheim Fellow 2017-18. Brown's thinking on the decline of sovereignty and the hollowing out of democracy has found popular and journalistic audiences with discussions of her arguments appearing in The Guardian, Washington Post, and New York Times articles. Brown has appeared in documentary films including The Value of the Humanities 2014 and What is Democracy? Directed by Astra Taylor, 2018, together with Michelle Feher, Brown is co-editor of the Zone Books series Near Futures and its digital supplement Near Futures Online. Topic. Overview of work Brown has established new paradigms in critical legal studies and feminist theory. She has produced a body of work drawing from Marx's critique of capitalism and its relation to religion and secularism, Nietzsche's usefulness for thinking about power and the ruses of morality, Max Weber on the modern organization of power, Freudian psychoanalysis and its implications for political identification, Foucault's work on governmentality and neoliberalism, as well as other contemporary continental philosophers. Bringing these resources together with her own thinking on a range of topics, Brown's work aims to diagnose modern and contemporary formations of political power, and to discern the threats to democracy entailed by such formations. Topic: <laughs> States of Injury, Power and Freedom in Late Modernity, 1995. In this work Brown asks how a sense of woundedness can become the basis for individual and collective forms of identity. 
From outlawing hate speech to banning pornography, Brown argues, well-intentioned attempts at protection can legitimize the state while harming subjects by codifying their identities as helpless or in need of continuous governmental regulation. While breaking ground in political theory, this work also represents one of Brown's key interventions in feminist and queer theory. The book offers a novel account of legal and political power as constitutive of norms of sexuality and gender. Through the concept of wounded attachments, Brown contends that psychic injury may accompany and sustain racial, ethnic, and gender categories, particularly in relation to state law and discursive formations. In this and other works Brown has criticized representatives of second-wave feminism, such as Catherine McKinnon, for reinscribing the category of woman as an essentialized identity premised on injury. Topic: Politics out of history 2001 This book comprises a series of essays on contemporary political issues from the problem of moralism in politics to the legacies of past injustices in the present. Throughout her thematically overlapping chapters, Brown asks what happens to left and liberal political orientations when faith in progress is broken, when both the sovereign individual and sovereign states seem tenuous, when desire seems as likely to seek punishment as freedom, when all political conviction is revealed as contingent and subjective?" Much of this book takes history and liberalism themselves as objects of theoretical reflection and sites of contestation. Drawing on a range of thinkers, such as Freud, Marx, Nietzsche, Spinoza, Benjamin and Derrida, Brown rethinks the disorientation and possibility inherent to contemporary democracy. <laughs> Edgework, Critical Essays on Knowledge and Politics 2005. This work consists of seven articles responding to particular occasions, each of which mimic, in certain ways, the experience of the political realm. One is challenged to think here, now, about a problem that is set and framed by someone else, and to do so before a particular audience or in dialogue with others not of one's own choosing. Each individual essay begins with a specific problem, what is the relationship between love, loyalty, and dissent in contemporary American political life, how did neoliberal rationality become a form of governmentality, what are the main problems of women's studies programs, and so on. According to Brown, the essays do not aim to definitively answer the given questions but to critically interrogate the framing and naming practices, challenge the dogmas including those of the left and of feminism, and discern the constitutive powers shaping the problem at hand. Topic: <laughs> Regulating aversion, tolerance in the age of identity and empire 2006. In this book, Brown subverts the usual and widely accepted notion that tolerance is one of the most remarkable achievements of Western modernity. She suggests that tolerance or toleration cannot be perceived as the complete opposite to violence. At times, it can also be used to justify violence. Brown argues that tolerance primarily operates as a discourse of subject construction and a mode of governmentality that addresses or confirms asymmetric relations between different groups, each of which must then «tolerate» other groups and categories or «be tolerated» by the dominant groups and categories. To substantiate her thesis, Brown examines the tolerance discourse of figures like George W. Bush, Jimmy Carter, Samuel Huntington, Susan Okin, Michael Ignatieff, Bernard Lewis, and Salah Benhabib and argues that, "...tolerance as a political practice is always conferred by the dominant, it is always a certain expression of domination even as it offers protection or incorporation to the less powerful." Among those influenced by Brown's thinking on this subject are Joan Wallach Scott and Slavoj Žižek, whose respective works The Politics of the Veil and Violence, Six Sideways Reflections draw heavily on Brown's account of tolerance discourse. In a debate with Rainer Forst at the ICI in Berlin, Brown addressed this problematic again, later published as a co authored book, The Power of Tolerance. 2014. 
Here Brown argues against primarily moral or normative approaches to power and discourse, and warns against the dangers of uncritically celebrating the liberal ideal of tolerance, as frequently happens in Western notions of historical, civilizational or moral progress. Topic. Les Habits Neufs de la Politique Mondiale 2007. Published exclusively in French, Les Habits Neufs de la Politique Mondiale the New Clothes of World Politics argues that the following political fact is irreversible, liberal democracy, as a global social and historical modality of statecraft, is dying. The two movements delivering such blows, neoliberalism and neoconservatism, feature both resonances and dissonances. Brown argues that whilst the former acts as a political rationality, a mode of general regulation of behavior, the latter is both necessary to its survival, and parasitic of its survival. As a form of governmentality that redefines freedom, neoliberalism will moralize politics, limiting its scope. This is the function of neoconservatism. Topic. Walled states, waning sovereignty 2010. This book examines the revival of wall building under shifting conditions of global capitalism. Brown not only problematizes the assumed functions of walls, such as the prevention of crime, migration, smuggling, and so on. She also argues that walling has taken on new significance due to its symbolic function in an increasingly globalized and precarious world of financial capital. As individual identity as well as nation-state sovereignty are threatened, walls become objects invested with individual and collective desire. Anxious efforts to shore up national identity are thus projected onto borders as well as new material structures that would appear to secure them. The book was reprinted with a new preface by the author following the 2016 election of Donald Trump. Topic: <inaudible> Undoing the Demos: Neoliberalism's Stealth Revolution, 2015. Brown's study begins by engaging and revising key arguments in Michel Foucault's The Birth of Biopolitics with the aim of analyzing different ways that democracy is being hollowed out by neoliberal rationality. She describes neoliberalism as a thoroughgoing attack on the most foundational ideas and practices of democracy. The individual chapters of the book examine the effects of neoliberalization on higher education, law, governance, the basic principles of liberal democratic institutions, as well as radical democratic imaginaries. Brown treats neoliberalism as a governing rationality through which everything is economized and in a very specific way, human beings become market actors and nothing but, every field of activity is seen as a market, and every entity whether public or private, whether person, business, or state is governed as a firm. To address such threats, Brown argues, democracy must be reinvigorated not only as an object of theoretical inquiry but also as a site of political struggle. In the ruins of neoliberalism, the rise of anti-democratic politics in the West Brown's latest book is forthcoming with Columbia University Press in 2019. Topic. Public life A prominent public intellectual in the United States, Brown has written and spoken about issues of free speech, public education, political protest, LGBTQ issues, sexual assault, Donald Trump, conservatism, neoliberalism, and other matters of national and international concern. For decades, Brown has been active in efforts to resist measures toward the privatization of the University of California system. In her capacity as co-chair of the Berkeley Faculty Association, she raised awareness, organized marches, and spoke publicly about the privatization of public education. She has been critical of the university's decision to cut costs by utilizing lecturers rather than hiring tenure and tenure-track professors. Relatedly, she has voiced concern over the perils of the UC's proposed online education programs. Brown has criticized university administration for their response to sexual assault. 
I think many faculty feel there are repeat harassers on our faculty who are never charged. Graduate students gave up on careers, and these perpetrators were allowed to continue, and that was wrong. Never should have happened. She said, at the 99 mile march to Sacramento, she addressed her criticism to more general trends. We are marching to draw attention to the plight of public education in California and to implore Californians to reinvest in it. For all its resources, innovation and wealth, California has sunk to nearly the bottom of the nation in per-student spending, and our public higher education system, once the envy of the world, is in real peril. Brown supported Occupy Wall Street as part of the UC Faculty Council, claiming that we understand this to be part of what the movement stands for. We are delighted by the protests and consider our campaign to be at one with it. Topic: Personal life. Brown is a native of California and lives in Berkeley with her wife Judith Butler and son. Bibliography Books in English Undoing the Demos, Neoliberalism's Stealth Revolution Zone Books, 2015, Fourth Printing, 2017. Walled States, Waning Sovereignty Zone Books, 2010, Second Printing with a New Preface, 2017. Regulating Aversion, Tolerance in the Age of Identity and Empire Princeton University Press, 2006. Edgework, Critical Essays in Knowledge and Politics Princeton University Press, 2005. Politics Out of History Princeton University Press, 2001. States of Injury, Power and Freedom in Late Modernity Princeton University Press, 1995. Manhood and Politics, A Feminist Reading in Political Thought Roman and Littlefield, 1988 Topic Edited and co-authored books Authoritarianism, co-authored with Peter E. Gordon and Max Pensky University of Chicago Press, 2018 Near Futures Online, Europe at a Crossroads, co-edited with Michel Feher, William Callison, Milad Odebayi and Aurelia Windles, issue No. 1 March 2016 the Power of Tolerance, co-authored with Rainer Forst, New York, Columbia University Press, 2014, Berlin, Turia and Kant, 2014. Is Critique Secular? Injury, Blasphemy and Free Speech, co-authored with Judith Butler, Saba Mahmood and Talal Asad, University of California Press, 2009, reissued, with a new co-authored introduction, Fordham University Press, 2015, 1, Democracy in What State, edited by Giorgio Agamben, Alain Badiou, Daniel Bensed, Wendy Brown, Jean-Luc Nancy, Jacques Ranciere, Kristin Ross, and Slavoj Žižek. Translated by William McQuagg, Columbia University Press, 2011. Left Legalism, Left Critique, co-edited with Janet Haley, Duke University Press, 2002. Topic chapters in books: Neoliberalism Against the Promise of Modernity, Interview with Wendy Brown by Yost de Blois, Critical Theory at a Crossroads, Conversations on Resistance in Times of Crisis, Stain de Cower, ed. Columbia University Press, 2018. Climate Change and Crises of Humanism, In Life Adrift, Climate Change, Migration, Critique, Andrew Baldwin and Giovanni Bettini eds, Roman and Littlefield International, 2017. Neoliberalism and the Economization of Rights, Critical Theory in Critical Times, Transforming the Global Political and Economic Order, edited by Penelope Deutscher and Christina Lafont Columbia University Press, 2017. Religious Freedom's Oxymoronic Edge, Politics of Religious Freedom, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 2015, with Joan Wallach Scott, Power, Critical Terms for the Study of Gender, Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 2014. Property of the Dead, The Jerusalem Museum of Tolerance and, On the Mamilla Cemetery, Laura Josha, ed. Mas a la de la Tolerancia? Ciudadania y Diversidad en el Uruguay Contemporáneo. Ediciones Trilsa, Montevideo, Uruguay, 2014.
civilizational delusions, secularism, equality, tolerance, unveiling democracy, secularism and religion in liberal democratic states, Mail, Nielsen and Sally, eds. Brussels, Pi Peter Lang Publishers, 2013. We are all Democrats now, Democracy in What State, Columbia University Press, 2011. Speaking Power to Truth, Truth and Democratic Politics, eds. Jeremy Elkins and Andrew Norris, University of Pennsylvania Press, 2012. Thinking in Time, an epilogue on ethics and politics, the question of gender, Joan W. Scott's Critical Feminism, Bloomington, Indiana University Press, 2011. The Sacred, the Secular and the Profane, Charles Taylor and Karl Marx, in Varieties of Secularism in a Secular Age, edited by Calhoun and Van Antwerpen, Harvard University Press, 2010. Sovereign Hesitations, Derrida and the Time of the Political, eds. Feng Chia and Suzanne Gerlach, Duke University Press, 2009. Subjects of Tolerance, Why We Are Civilized and They Are the Barbarians, Political Theologies, Public Religions in a Post-Secular World, edited by Hent de Vries and Lawrence E. Sullivan, Fordham University Press, 2006. Political Idealization and Its Discontents, Dissent in Dangerous Times, Austin Surratt, ed., Michigan University Press, 2004. Renaissance Italy, Machiavelli, Feminist Interpretations of Niccolò Machiavelli, Maria Falco, ed., Penn State University Press, 2004. After Marriage, Response to Mary Lyndon Shanley's Just Marriage, In Just Marriage, On the Public Importance of Private Unions, Oxford University Press, 2004. The Subject of Privacy, New Perspectives on Privacy, Beat Roseler, ed., Stanford University Press, 2004. At the Edge. In What is Political Theory? ed. Donald Moon and Stephen White, Sage Publications, 2004. Resisting Left Melancholia. Without Guarantees, Essays in Honor of Stuart Hall, eds. Paul Gilroy, Lawrence Grossberg, and Angela McCrabbie, Verso, 2000.